Hey, we are here today. We are gonna do a partial wrap for modern uh, real estate. Um, the nice thing about a partial wrap, like you've seen before in previous videos, is you don't have to wrap the whole car. And the nice thing about that is that the price point is a little bit, you know, isn't that big, you know, oomph that you gotta pay, you know, but it, it gives you the same classic look that you want. Uh, still gives you the full digital print. What I like about stuff like this is that it's, it actually doesn't, you know, work too much against you as an installer. And, you know, as a customer, you're not going over any door handles or stuff like that, which, you know, after time, if somebody, you know, touching it or, you know, pulling on it, uh, can really mess with the vinyl. Uh, how Jessica had set this up is that, you know, it's really just the bottom half of the door. Uh, still gives it a clean look, gives it the car kind of a fresh look to it once it's all done. So, but no, take a look, see what you guys think. Kind of squared up to where I want it to go. Um, it's really critical when you're doing installs like this that has text that hits certain lines of where the, the body breaks. Um, so what I did here is you kind of know how far over you need to go based on the letter and kind of where the letter sits on that crease which makes it really nice and easy to line up. Um, as far as getting it straight that's kind of a uh, dealer's choice of what you want to do. Um, some people will check you know the bottom molding Kind of feel where it's at see how the line rolls on that um, what i did is i actually there's a piece that sticks out here at the bottom and i kind of took a measurement from there to the to the top line of text because it was the longest piece um, but then again it's it's anybody's choice you still step back take a look at it see if it looks straight uh get another person's opinion if you need to so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to actually uh as you can see half of it's taped half of it's not well the reason why that is when you do a partial wrap and you have to follow a curve, you can't do the wrap part of it without the tape. Because if the tape isn't there, it's not going to hold a nice clean cut line. When you're wrapping something, you're constantly pulling on it, uh, making it kind of just little not, not straight line anymore, basically. So, but yeah, so take a look, see how it goes. modern real estate car, uh, the partial wrap. Turned out real sharp, raw, nice clean look to it. Um, there are some curves to it that, you know, makes it a little more difficult, but otherwise, uh, install went great. Hey guys, so today we are out at 
Kama, Nebraska, where we are going to be installing some lettering for constructors. Uh, we are actually going to be installing on this big thing right over here. Uh, Got to get a lift, get jacked up there, and uh, it's our pronounced big house. So stay tuned, check it out. Thanks for going on for the ride. semi-truck graphics. This is all stuff you can find on our website. Uh, it all comes put together as you're going to see in this video. Real easy to install except for when you're going over certain curves but otherwise this is straight out the box what you would get. So yeah take a look. The front graphic to our semi-truck all put together just like it would come out of the box not trimmed up. Um, so you can see I got it all kind of where I want it and yeah take a look. this design check out any any of the other ones we have on our website also make sure you check out on Facebook and Instagram is trucking Thursday where we release all sorts of new different designs every week so take a look at that otherwise check out our website As you can see, it's pretty easy to put on these graphic packages. All you got left to do, pull the tape off, pop any bubbles, and uh, cut any of the areas that need to be cut. Otherwise, you're all done. Ready to go on the road? 